Yo, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome to Yin Vision. I'm Yin. How you been? This is a podcast. A podcast. This is a show about. <laughs> I have a podcast, by the way. Uh, no, this is a show about positivity, uh, kindness, you know, self care, you know, keeping an optimistic mindset, you know, having yourself, uh, you know, become optimal, right? Moving on in life you know, trying to become a better person, improving yourself in all sorts of different ways, right? That's what it's all about, right? You're trying to improve yourself, create an energy for yourself and create a future for yourself, you know, by virtue of manifesting it, right? That means taking action on it, believing in it, right? Not, uh, you know, but falling into the, you know, your, your, your doubt demons. You can watch my video on the doubt demons. It's like one of my earliest videos. Um, and, you know, fighting back the, the, the inner doubts in you and pushing through and making the change you need to make anyway, becoming the person you always wanted to be in spite of all that, right? Because again, success is not the inability to, you know, have doubts. Success is the, you know, the, the, the ability to push past all those doubts and still do it, everything that you wanted to do in spite of having those doubts and fears and, and all that. So today I want to talk to you about resilience. Resilience is the ability to push past your limits, right? Pushing past those fears you have, pushing past all the, all the negativity that's coming your way, you know, and walking towards a positive world, walking towards a positive light, walking towards a positive environment for yourself, right? You are withstanding all the rain of negative stuff that's coming your way from other people, from other, from the world, news, all these things that, you know, kind of, you know, uh, create a, a, a mental burden on your soul, right? It's starting to pile up on you and you feel like you can't achieve the things you want to achieve because of people telling you that you can't, um, maybe the workplace, you're in that work mindset, what I, which I call the, uh, the work cage, right? The mind cage, right? Where you're stuck in that <laughs> mind prison. You come in into work Monday through Friday. And you, by the time you get home, you're just exhausted because you've invested emotionally, mentally, and you've been bogged down by all those people there, right? Because again, your mind is not some sort of um, impenetrable palace, right? You have to create that. That the mind, when it comes out of the box, it's like there's no security codes. It's everything's open. You know, it's all open sourced. You have to you have to go to the settings and change all your settings. Just remember that. That's how you have to imagine your mind is it comes out of the box with no security, no passwords, nothing. It's open to it's all already online. The, the internet is already connected to it and it's already getting downloaded all these these negative products. So you have to shut that down. And you have to delete all those negative products. You have to go with a clean slate starting all over. Sometimes that requires quitting your job, which I've said before. If your job is creating a burden, a mental burden for you, right? And you want to change that environment, then yeah, you're going to have to make a tough decision about whether or not the income is stream is worth the, uh, the actual like mental damage you're getting from the place because yeah it can damage your soul it can create a negative like feedback loop where you are just constantly you know oh you're down and all that well here's the solution look at yourself and write down all the things this is why i always say write it all down get it from the mental into the physical get it from the abstract into the real where you can see it you know it's empirical you can see it and if you can see it you can battle it if you can see the things that you are experiencing on paper with your own eyes, your own two eyes, you can you can beat it. You can fix it. You cannot fix a symptom if it's in here, but if it's on paper, you can fix that stuff. You know, you can fix the problems that is uh, you know that is absolutely wrecking your life. You can fix that. So, resilience is not, you know, big impenetrable. Resilience is building yourself up into that it's a process and you'll never stop you'll never stop growing you'll never stop strengthening yourself you're never gonna stop you know uh, uh it's it's a constant state of improvement for your whole life and you have to be at peace with that it's fine it's the journey that's important right the journey of becoming this new person who you know is more in tune with what's going on and seeing that coming his way or her way and being able to walk away, resist it, 
you know, push back on it, um, ignore it, all these options that are on your table, right? And so I think the problem is a lot of people, they, they, they feel like they're trapped. And that, I think that's kind of the reason why this channel really exists is to help you and let you know that you're not trapped. You can escape. But yes, it feels like you are trapped, but you're not. You will make it. You will get out of this. Just take action on all these videos that I talk, where I talk about all these subjects. Use the resilience, right? The resilience technique is not just, you know, being impenetrable. It's the state of knowing what's happening to you, being at peace with what's happening, right? And being at peace with you being able to walk away, like you walking away, right? You know, it's not, again, you're, you're writing it down. You're seeing all the problems. You're seeing all the causes. You see all of the connections. You have a flow chart. You're just, you're connecting all the dots. It's not, you're not crazy. That makes you not crazy. You are not, you know, you're being gaslit, right? The society likes to gaslight people into thinking, oh, this is normal. Because it's easy to make these, and make people zombies, right? And I don't want you to be a zombie. I don't want you to, you know, waste your entire life, um, you know, being miserable. Because you, it's, it's your life at the end of the day. You're born, you live, and then you die. Make it, make it count, you know, make it matter. You know, at the end of the day, it has to matter. It's yours. And so that's that's my gift to you. That's my that's my tip to you. Uh, let me know if that helps you. But that, again, this is my opinion. You know, what's your opinion? Have you had this problem before where you are like having issues trying to, um, you know, uh, you know, recover from something that had happened and you're just trying to like push out that negativity and it's still affecting you every day? You know, you're feeling stressed out and you wrote it down and it, has that helped you? Let me know. Or what other techniques do you have? Let me know in the comment section. Appreciate your time. God bless.